Covering news that matters in Broken Arrow, Broken Arrow Public Schools is looking to upgrade. Yeah, for the first time since 2015, the school is asking citizens to vote on a new general obligation bond. Fox 23's Alexa Mustrom spoke with the district about how the extra money would be used. More than 20,000 students will return to Broken Arrow Public Schools next week, marking the largest student body to date. With so much growth, the school decided it needed some upgrades. Enrollment growth is a primary reason for it and again, just the infrastructure. Natalie Enef is the chief financial officer for Broken Arrow Public Schools. She says in November, people in Broken Arrow will vote on the school's new general obligation bond. Bond issues in communities are so very important because the way our funding is set up, it's not um, set up to be able to um, handle infrastructure capital improvement items. And so that's really what we depend on the community to continue to show support to get these capital type expenditures approved. The new bond package will be split into four questions. Voters will decide if each question passes or fails. The first question covers infrastructure, safety, and technology upgrades. Uh, yeah, so some of our older sites definitely our freshman academy. Um, the roof on it is probably the worst in the district, and so that's needing to be replaced. We have quite a few HVAC units that are over that 25-year um, threshold. The second question covers transportation and buses. The last two will reevaluate details from previous bonds, looking at expanding an elementary school and where to put a new aquatic center. Just continuing to maintain our great facilities in Broken Arrow that we've um, become accustomed to and it will impact um, students through um, the instructional technology that will be improved in the bond and um, set them up for good success. ENF says they're excited about the potential that comes with this bond package. We are incredibly excited. Um, $52 million is a significant amount of money and we feel like in this bond issue we have prioritized the needs of our district, listened to our long range planning committee and our parents and we'll be able to touch a lot of different areas with these funds. Once again, the voting for this package is in November. Broken Arrow Public Schools really wants to emphasize that there won't be any tax raises if this is approved. Covering news that matters, I'm Alexa Mostra, Fox 23 News.